This video is going to cover a hunter tail braid. Hunter tail braids are used specifically with hunter braids and are not used for button braids. Remember that button braids, you will not be braiding the tail. So here our demo has braided down the entire length of the tailbone. She is still braiding down and then this piece she is showing how you can drop hair so if you get to the end of the tail braid and you start to have really thick pieces in your hand you can actually drop hair so she's going to only pick up half of the piece that she's going to cross over and then she'll still add remember that when you're adding hair to come from the back of the tail as far back as you can get it she takes very thin pieces and you can see again how she only grabbed half of the piece that was in her hand and then added to it to reduce the amount of hair that she had in her hands. Again, you're only going to braid down to the end of the tailbone. Some horses are going to have a very long tailbone. Some horses may have a shorter tailbone. And again, she's pulling the hair from the back of the tailbone, as far back as she can get it. You can see how the braid that she has in her hand is in line with the hair that she's grabbing. Remember that if, your braid, if the braid in your hand gets lower than the hair that you're grabbing, then your tail braid is going to be droopy, especially when you go to do your pinwheel. You can see in this shot where she's pulling the hair from, the complete back of the tailbone. Nice thin pieces. Remember that your tail should be completely combed out before you start your tail braid, or else when you get further down the tail, you'll have trouble handling the snags. So now she's gone all the way down to the tailbone, and this is when she's going to be Begin her pinwheel. Remember that the pinwheel is very small, so we don't want to do too much extra braiding. So she starts to regularly braid for about four to six inches. Halfway, so at about three inches, she's going to add her yarn. And you can add your yarn to the back of the braid or on top of the braid. She's adding it on top and you want to incorporate the yarn into the two outside pieces. And then remember that your yarn should just become part of your braid. She's now braided down for about six inches of regular braid, and now she's going to tie the braid off using a slip knot. You can use a slip knot or a regular knot or both to tie off the braid. You just want to make sure it's fully secure before you let go of the tail hair. So here she did a slip knot, and now she's going to do a regular knot over top of her slip knot to act as extra security. Remember that the yarn that you use for your tail braid is going to be much longer than the yarn that you use for your mane, so you'll probably want it to be double in size. Now she's going to take out her needle and she's going to thread her yarn through her needle. Now she's going to weave her needle through the braid, nice and close to where the knot is for the first time. And notice how she split the hair in half 
before she threaded through. So she's got half of the hair on the right side of her hand and half of the hair on the left. The next time she pushes her needle through the braid, she's going to push it through where the yarn is coming out and where it's going to hit the braid. And then she pulls it through and then she's going to get about one more roll in. So again, she's going to thread the needle in relation to where that yarn right here is going to hit the tail braid. And it's okay, remember, that if it comes up towards the tail braid itself, that will fasten it up against the tail, and that is ideal. Now she'll take her needle off, holding her pinwheel until she can get pressure on her yarn. And once she's got pressure on the yarn, then she can let go of the pinwheel itself. The first knot that she's going to tie is going to be on the top of the pinwheel. So she'll split her yarn, make sure they're behind your little bat wings. And she's going to tie a nice tight knot here. Remember that you should never, ever, ever, ever tie the yarn around the tailbone. You would risk cutting off circulation for your horse's tail. Now she's going to tie a knot underneath of her pinwheel, again behind the excess hair. And you can do double knots wherever you need to for extra security. Your pinwheel should feel nice and tight and it should be fastened up against the tail. Now she's going to cut off her excess yarn. Remember you want to cut it close enough so that you don't see it but far enough away that your knot doesn't risk coming undone. Now she has to take care of the excess hair on the outsides of your, her pinwheel. So she's going to take her latch hook and push it through the last two rungs of the braid that she created. She's going to twist the hair and then she's going to put it inside of the latch hook and close the door. Sometimes you have to do this in pieces if you've got a lot of excess hair that you need to pull through. She's going to guide her latch hook down so that the hair doesn't come undone. And then that hair just becomes part of the tail again. And now she goes to the other side. Again, she pushes her latch hook up through the last two pieces of braid that she did in her tail braid. She's going to twist the hair so it's easier to hook into her latch. And she puts her hair in, closes the door, and then guides it down so that way it holds together as well as possible. So here it got a little bit stuck and that might happen to you. So she pulled it out and now she's going to try again. Pushing her latch hook up, twisting her hair to fit inside the latch. closing the door and pushing it down through. And again, it got a little stuck this time as well. So she's going to use her fingers to try to pull all of the hair through. And again, you can do it in two pieces if you're having trouble getting all the hair to pull through with just one. So now she's gotten all of the hair through. It has all become part of the tail again. Yeah, right. 
she does have this extra piece on the left side, which we will show in the follow-up video how you can fix a mistake like that. And there's her tail braid.